Now, a strategic plan is just a roadmap, um, a sense of direction. Understand that a strategic plan is what you want it to be. And it's not cast in stone. It's something that can be changed over time. But it is a document that's going to provide you with um, a, a sense of direction, what your goals are, and how you're, going to, how you're going to manage those goals and how you're going to accomplish them. It's going to include outcomes so that you know what to expect and um, you know what to measure. It's going to include metrics, how you're going to measure it. It's going to include timelines and budgets. These are all very simple things, straightforward things, but without them, you can't really take your plan forward. So you need to think about these pieces. And Connie's going to talk a lot more about that. A successful strategic planning process includes having an internal as well as an external internal, uh, point of reference and information. Oftentimes, when Connie and I do strategic planning, we're asked to do an external survey. We might go out and talk to an organization's donors and uh, colleagues and uh, friends and volunteers and funders to ask a series of questions that the organization, your organization, would want to have the answers to. Um, in that way, it can be very customized, very focused on what it is that you want and what it is you need to learn. And that kind of information can really be a surprise. We did a, we did a, a piece for, we did a strategic plan for an organization and they learned that their message was not heard, was not clearly understood, that what they did was not really clearly understood. And they were having problems raising money. Well, bingo, that's why. Your message needs to be framed in a way that people can hear it, can understand it, can respond to it, or not. But we, so those external questionnaires are really important because it's going to bring you information that you're not going to hear from people close by. Your friends aren't going to tell you that because they don't want to hurt your feelings. Very important. It's going to focus on priorities for your organization, and it's going to provide you with ways in which you can anticipate and respond to the things that are going to come up throughout the years, uh, change, uh, things you didn't plan on. It's going to give you um, some tools to be able to deal with that a little better. Long term, it could be two years, it could be 20 years, it could be a year and a half. It really depends on what it is that you want to accomplish with your strategic plan. Um, it should be relatively general in scope in that it takes a look at all of the pieces of work that you do and then determines and then your strategic plan will include uh, objectives and steps to accomplish those goals. And it focuses on the long-term, broad, long-lasting <coughs> issues of the organization that need attention. That often falls into the category of fundraising and, um, oh, there's fundraising. Um, and then sometimes there's board development, but then there's fundraising again. So it's really, strategic plan is really important. It really helps you do that. What are the reasons for doing a strategic plan? I have some thoughts, do you? Why would you do a strategic plan? Or why have you done a strategic plan? How do we know where we're going? Yeah. Do we want to pick our own path or have it picked for us? <laughs> Good. Bingo. That's Bingo. right. Yes. Yes. We have an agreed roadmap so we can all agree on what we're going to do. Really important, man. Really important. If you don't know what the, what the road is and you don't have agreement, you're not going to get, you're not going to get out of the gate. Yeah. Make sure that your goals and objectives are aligned with your mission. Absolutely. Marilyn, it really has to start with the mission and the vision. And that informs all of the pieces of your strategic plan. Yep. All of them. What else? Yeah. It keeps the, uh, the board and the staff on targets. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hugh. Allocate resor resources. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> and and it also lets you know when you don't have enough resources to allocate to. Just one more. Um, yes. To hold everyone accountable 
and also to make sure that you are serving the community as you said you would. You just pleased Connie Carter big time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. If if you don't if you don't appoint people to drive the process, it isn't going to happen. It isn't going to happen. Okay. Um, so you might be a young organization and you're struggling, you're trying to figure out, gosh, we want to grow, we don't know how to do it, and you know, we've only been around for two or three years. We really what do we do for a second and third? A strategic plan, a short-term strategic plan might be just the thing for you as an organization. Um, because it'll help you focus your mission and figure out how to get traction on your mission through your programs over a period of time. And that sets Kind of a stage for you to continue to grow. <coughs> it could be that an organization is experiencing a critical, critical juncture. Um, they need more space. They need to broaden the programs. Um, they need to figure out where this is going to take them. So they might want to do a three to four year strategic plan to map that growth out in a way that is fundable, manageable, and doable. Uh, and it's really important to know what's involved with that because you're going to be fundraising, probably, if you're growing the organization or you're expanding your services. So you need to know what it's going to cost in terms of the resources, the internal resources, as well as external resources, funding, to make that program work and to make it grow. And it could be that uh, there, are, there are environmental changes that affect how your organization provides services. For example, uh, the pandemic. The pandemic may have completely thrown some of you in, into a turmoil. Now we've got to figure out what our next steps are. So there's all kinds of reasons for, the, for having a strategic plan. Um, it could be that an organization had great momentum um, and they have exhausted their current plan and they need, they need a new one. They need to figure out where they're going to go from there. Um, any other examples for strategic planning? The reason I'm asking this is because sometimes people think strategic planning is not important. It's one of those things that could be done later. Uh, when we have time and money, but sometimes it costs you more time and money to not have a plan going forward that everyone is, you know, tuned into and agree and agree. <coughs> but, <coughs> comments? Yeah, well, I think it's tied into fundraising, and I say that because mm -hmm. uh, one of my board members the other day, uh, we were talking about fundraising, and she asked a great question. She 